I am Haley Ball, and I teach art here at Clearborn. But I am also a Ravenclaw. My Patronus is a brown hair. My wand is made of vine with a phoenix feather core, and I love Harry Potter. In a way, I grew up right alongside Harry, Ron, and Hermione. When the first Harry Potter movie came out, I was nine years old, and I remember being shocked in the theater when Hermione first introduced herself, because while I, while I was reading the books, I had been pronouncing her name Hermoyne in my head. <laughs> when the last movie was released, I was 19, and just like the characters, I had made it through middle and high school and was off to new adventures. I have reread and listened to all of the books countless times. My sister and I have watched the movies so many times we can repeat most of the lines by heart. I have been to Harry Potter World here and in Florida. I've taught classes on Harry Potter. I've dressed up as a wizard for multiple Halloweens. I can identify any tune from the soundtracks and tell which movie it's from. And I almost won a Harry Potter trivia contest. Out of about 100 dedicated fans, my sister and I got second, second place because we missed one very obscure question. The first place winner received a $200 prize. The second place prize was nothing. <laughs> but even that devastating loss did nothing to diminish my love for these books. One day, as I was sitting at my desk during my senior year of college, probably procrastinating starting my homework, my mind began to wander to the wizarding world, and I started to doodle what I was imagining on the corner of my paper. This gave me an idea. I got out a new paper, measured out a 12 by 12 inch square, put on Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone audiobook, and drew a tiny version of each scene that I listened to as I saw them in my head. During the following several weeks, in the small amounts of free time I had between classes, soccer practices, and homework time, I escaped my busy muggle life to listen and draw. Eventually, I finished the book and filled up the paper. I was hooked and set out to do the same thing for all seven books in the series. What I didn't think about at the time was that each book is significantly longer than the first one. So five years later, I'm currently just over halfway done with, with the fifth drawing. But I still love it and intend to finish. And I brought three of these drawings in. So I have looked into making prints of these and selling them. And I even talked to a publisher who works for um, the Peanuts cartoons. She does all of their legal work. And so she advised me that I can't really sell them online. I will get shut down so hard by Warner Brothers. But... <laughs> I might eventually have some casual prints out there because I love them and I want to share them too. I credit Harry Potter with my love for reading, creativity, and imagination. It has also expanded my vocabulary, strengthened my critical thinking skills, and instilled in my mind a strong set of values including courage, honesty, loyalty, forgiveness, and determination. Looking back, I always kind of thought I'd eventually grow out of Harry Potter and start reading adult books, which made me sad to think about. But although I have read many other books and enjoyed them, I always find myself coming back to Harry Potter, and I don't think I'll ever stop. Especially now that I know I'll have a little son to read them to when he's old enough. Thank you.